Fly! 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 Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> Sucker born every minute, man. Huh? <laughs> Just falling in love. <laughs> I want to see the soldier that walks out with just like, firm handshake, pat on the back, well done. <laughs> Stiff up a lip then. <laughs> and if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Mm -hmm. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. We're gonna get dirty anyway. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. I think I prefer this one to the Game of Thrones Vale. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Speak with Isabelle. Clive, my darling. Sex, 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 sex. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay, let me check out this area a little bit. See if there's a shop or a, a metal worker. I think I might see you tonight. Depends on how much you want to see. Is it like the whole village? It seems to be the entire village, if not... You know. It's the Vale. It's, uh, it's what we do. Everyone's working hard. Everyone's hardly working. Oh. Do you think I might see you tonight? Do you still have money? <laughs> Then the answer is yes! But you this know is how a, this works? This is a transactional relationship, my friend. It's quite simple, really. <laughs> like... Oh, I just... I was, I was hoping you'd play along a little bit. Just, you know... Just a bit of GFE. A little bit of GFE! There ain't much to ask for. Just tell me you care. <laughs> In this dry and dreary, uh, the cold world. Just a little GFE. Daily regimen, roll call, morning prayer, rounds, the striking dummies, midday rations, the butts, ten quivers, armored sparring, kit maintenance, groundskeeping, and then roll call. And then, off to the brothels. Ah! <laughs> the final roll call. The butts, ten quivers. We love the butts. You've been to Martha's rest. Now see Martha's chest. Ah! <gasps> Pretty calm overall. Well, I guess Isabel is all we gotta do here. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. Let me try again. You been to Martha's rest? Now, see the rest of Martha! <laughs> <laughs> I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. Oh, that's nice. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. 
Tatiana right has here. been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. One of my little spiders. And I began to fear the worst. My little birds. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Ooh, the moon and stars. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, more H's I have in the handsome. to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Why do I get the feeling that Sid's name is chiseled at the top of the leaderboard <laughs> at this place? I should probably start here. <laughs> One of our best customers. VIP. Get it, boy. Yeah, through the wall. Good boy. Yeah. Now you hang outside. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. Oh. You see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Oh. Let's see what her chambermaid can tell us then. Shout out to Tatiana Ali. Damn. The dame sees that all of us share a bedchamber. It discourages unwanted visits from some of our more determined clients. And that means we grow close. If anyone knows where Tatian went, it'll be her chambermaid. Music career didn't quite pick up, but, you know, didn't really need to. Yeah, I grew up with Ashley. Huh? She ate. Yeah. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And I'm sure she's no. already been sent off up. on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. Wait, no, not Ashley. Uh, 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 oh, wait, no, never mind. That stupid. Okay, never mind. I'm all right. Told you, Sheriff. For a second, my my brain went Hillary, and I was like, "No, wait, oh, that's I not see. that's wrong. No, Same not Hillary, Ashley. Yes, before, before she went missing, only that she needed to meet with someone. She didn't mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do. You got deets. That's the garrison. Mm -hmm. Annoying little shit. <laughs> Spent every gilly earned on Tatien, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatiana was flattered at first. Oh didn't take no! Long for her to get scared. Mm -hmm. She thought about saying something, but the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. What? Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Mm -hmm. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. We've all had our share of dodgy punters. <laughs> That's why the dame has to hire escorts. Dodgy punters! <laughs> the, term? the artful dodgy punter! So wait, our branded ass is going to the barracks right now? I mean, we gotta fucking tell this incel what's what. <laughs> <laughs> if I pay for GFE every night, then eventually it just becomes GF now, doesn't it? That's the day, then. It's kind of like the real and thing. The How about the 24/7 free use? What do I get? What I want? Let me sneak into the room then. Heard the bones fell favorably. 
to the Vale, then, is it? What do you think? Nothing like a quick tumble on another man's coin. Uh -huh. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Hold your tongue. Yeah, pretty much what Where's I expect. Where's the brooch? <laughs> in the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war, y y Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. Uh-oh. The dame thanks you. Damn. War is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Most likely. Fools there, no on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna have to call an Amber Alert or something? Like, what's going on? Sergeant's got it in for us. Where'd he go? You're looking for a man, and I'm looking out for a way to stop my burning crotch. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> burning crotch. Oh, you know there's some fucking there's some critters running rampant in some of these fucking. Showerless soldier ass fucking Oh boy. It's rough. It's rough under that armor, bro. Um Alright, we two for one back at Isabel. I want to speak to the soldiers. Mm -hmm. They were very mean. Why are they so mean? Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. You've got to deal with these assholes every day? <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. Mm -hmm. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Mm -hmm. You'll find they have little love for bearers. Mm -hmm. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. <laughs> His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. So I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat that from the moment this started, all I've been getting is people yelling big about Moor. And and menacing go 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 energy. Okay. The final boss of racism land. World of Measurehead. I see. So this was a taster, like go there, don't drink the water. Right? Well, let's just you know, maybe that that giant crater shouldn't be the only one. Maybe we can, you know we we might need to create twin cities. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge. But one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded with a target on his back. I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> oh, thank you for the message, sir. I'll see There's you around. Crystals here are for citizens only. There's none for the likes of you. Beautiful in the realm, I reckon. I sure would be a shame if anything were to happen to it now, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, well. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Off I go. There's something I could have happened about it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yeah. I was just saying that. 
It's a real wonder how the whole thing stays balanced on a single rock, no way. Hmm. A miracle of engineering it is. Alright, that leads back to the Veil House. And what's on the side over here? Ooh, another crashed airship. Oh. That's definitely something. Okay. You drying the clothes then? Concentrate. Sap all the life out of your years of youth. Dry those clothes. Basically life destroyers. Well, how are we supposed to get the softest fabrics? This side of Sandbrek. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? You're the music. The little lady back there, like, what? What'd you say? <laughs> Are you, you're talking about the castle? No, no, love, no, no. Just c carry on then. <laughs> Dumb bud. <laughs> Let's go for the AP. Precision sick at the end of that. Mm. Get them all. Ooh. Thank you, Torgo. Oh, there's a couple of bluebirds around, actually. 64! Get those blues! Love it. I'm already dead. Yeah. Regular raptors? Don't waste my time. Damn mm, sea mm, mm, mm. gouge. A little help. There's a boy. Hey, don't don't cook my dog. That'll help. Vultures. Damn. <laughs> it's really fucking sick. <laughs> well, that bird was screaming. I ain't gonna get tired of that anytime soon. Alright. Stuff's popping up over here. Juggled. 
That's rude. Pops it. Guard break. Good, pretty good. Good numbers. Mm -hmm. Demon Tamer's Sash. How good is it? Oh, going up and up. Finally. Uh, while slaying a demon merely returns its soul to from to hell from whence it came, until such a time it is resummoned to inhabit a new host, taming a demon is much more effective means of dampening its evil influence on the corporeal plane by luring and trapping the undying spirit of Hellspawn into accoutrement worn on one's person. One might also harness their power and channel a portion of it as one's own. That seems like a big ass deal to just drop on a random paragraph somewhere. That's but, pretty badass. You know. I have Satan inside of me, so. What's a little demon extra? All right, well, goodbye to the Mechian Cross. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, no going up the watchtower? No meeting with Kenneth Height? <laughs> <laughs> There's another blue. Alive and kicking. Yo, air dancing. Three oh nine. It's just getting pricey. What's the upgraded version of this? Widens the area. Oh, just you pick up more. Okay. And increases potency. What's taunt again? R2 and touchpad. Jesus. Right. <laughs> okay. Two kill? Not even worth the steps it takes to get there. <gasps> oh, let's go dark. Extender. Damn. That looked violent. Okay, so Garuda into air pull into error sick or is it ravage mm, need a, need more time 
Chilling birds. This quest. All bark. Playthings. All on the way there. Uh huh. Checking the list. Yes. Okay. Here we go. You, Brandon. Here now. What me? What, 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 what you want with me? <laughs> You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. <laughs> Do you agree to help the man's son? Oh, all, right. all right. You suck, Where but... Is he? My, it's not his fault. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. Ooh, branded so towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. The hardest are all bark branded. Right for then, someone whose son's in mortal danger. Mm hmm. He didn't seem all that worried. I wonder why. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Right over He's there. right over there. I'm gonna stand right over here. But the wolf, it's going to eat me. If I can help it. <laughs> you literally, literally crying wolf. Uh, hello. Oh, you're our wolf. At least it's rabid. combo combo dog oh more of these hides enough of them oh. can't stand these hides no you aren't supposed to kill wolfie you're supposed to die father will have you whipped for this bears aren't supposed to win they never win oh my what gosh your father said you were being attacked you're not supposed to talk Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Wow. Having fun. Wow. Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Yeah, he will. We play a little game of feed the bearers to the wolf. It's a great way to pass the time. Oh my god. Yeah. Work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. That's it. And he said they sent one, right? Like he, like if he was expect, like so. They're. It's not like people walking by going, "Hey, can I help you?" It's them being sent to go do the job. That's cool. Uh -huh. What you gotta say, huh? Hard knock life for these bearers. You know? you, Hard knock man, life. Come here this instant. Mm-hmm. What you gotta say? <laughs> How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the Oh he's to such a shit. Head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. 
You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Why are you not entertained? Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. Yes. Is this he, not why you're I here? You, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. <laughs> Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Watch this now, young Joffrey. Watch this. That wretch would be me. That unlucky wretch would be me. Oh. I'm my own master. Is that what it is? I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. And unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. <laughs> Take, dare you Take an arm. Madness. How dare you! Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one. Take a leg. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Uh-huh. Take an arm and a leg. The kid will be fine. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. Oh man. That much I can do at least. Are you seriously not Many gonna bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Not even a finger. Not even a finger, bro. I met the kid, by the way. Take a leg, take an arm and a leg from the kid. Daddy's gotta go. Oh. Stick him in the ground. That's not even up for com for conversation. I I no no no. The kid, take an arm. <laughs> Daddy's gone. Oh man. More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier. Burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. So you can sell her name out like an idiot and then just let them walk away. Which would be bad. Where's Guts when you need him? Just put a just put a door between <laughs> in front of just put a door in front of the child. <laughs> <laughs> hey guts! <laughs> May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet. I did. Oh, I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Objects. Because you are not them. Yep. There is a tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. <laughs> Yes. Yes! Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out. Oh, you say? That, so yes. Bearers, fed or not, oh. they don't lack for fangs. Oh. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? Oh, we just get to leave it up to karma. Bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Two! 
for the help. You got more than that's you two want, for flinching, baby. <laughs> two. Take it. You never know. You got I'll more than you wanted. Again. Till then. There will be no atonement today. <laughs> I once again ask you. Will the revolution be televised? <sighs> Thank you for the AP. We should get it, really. That that wolf yeah. <laughs> does the job and we get the experience. Soul style. It should come floating from the house all the way. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of levels. Yes, sir. Hey, Torgi, good job. Good job. You're Ooh. good. There you go. I know. I know. <laughs> I I hope Close that enough. they I hope they fix that someday. I hope yeah. they do. But regardless, um, there's a there's an important sophisticated philosophy that you need to understand before you can understand the way these these nobles work, Reggie. That philosophy is called. Oh my God, a stain. <laughs> there was a blood stain on the floor. <laughs> me though. Oh boy. Yeah, just pass your boots all over that, huh? Mm hmm. Yes, okay. <laughs> Closest thing we got to a tea bag. <laughs> Good job. Good things happen today. Oh, what do we have here? Hello, little one. Lisette? of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Oh, look, it's one of the two British voices I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. Uh -huh. She likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Chloe's a goddamn yeti, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> what other what a field to search hit the with a little luck someone might have seen her hit the monster manual Reggie what do you what do you, what do you like what like what horrible giant monster that will Chloe be fuzzy white dragon wyvern curl I don't know what to expect Hopefully something friendly, yeah? Obviously expect the unexpected. Chloe's just like some old senile woman. Oh, it was, it was right over here, after all. Hello. Fastidious farm wife. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. 
Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about. <laughs> Never mind, Chloe's a person. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's God damn play it. With it. God damn it. <laughs> My mistake. Well, no. The predictable would have been. Off with you now. I won't have idle brand. The, I went, the I cute little right kitty. Over it. Yeah, did you? Yeah, I right over you, it. You looked past the Gundam. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cool robots. War is bad. <laughs> Yeah, I I went I went straight to it's a giant crazy monster. Um, that's good. What a shock when you when you run into it, and uh, you know. But yes, obviously, obviously. Chloe. Obviously. Obviously. What is it, boy? <sighs> More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? <sighs> She's dead. <laughs> oh, so God I'm damn it. On the job. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't mind the interruption. Uh, yeah, napping on the job, Clive. <laughs> oh no. That, that uh, did not go well. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> the crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Who are you, bio? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. Not the first I one. you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. Oh, fuck. It's yep. a rotation. Yep. Before Dad gives me another one. Yep. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Yep. Is that all she was to you? A plaything. Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. Oh, please cry. I hope it's you true. cry. <clears throat> and without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. Yeah, she's way too young to even process anything that's happening parents there. That give them away. Unlike Wolfbeat, she's like never see again. she You're just doesn't actually king. understand what's happening. When you took her in. Remember that, and remember her. I. But there were 12 others before this one. But she didn't know. Like, she's, like, legitimately, like... Yeah. Seven, eight? Yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? As opposed to fucking Kibbles and Bits. Yeah. <laughs> who, who knew better. You know. God bless. <laughs> Yeah. Lizette. I'm, yes. Exactly. I'm so sorry, Chloe. <laughs> That's bad, but yeah. I'm so sorry, Chloe. Good. I'm you're, sorry. You remember you're that. This way. Clive just looks over in the bushes at the wolf that's staring at him and he's like, down, 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 down. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf's like, <laughs> back into the bushes slowly. <laughs> <laughs> like Homer, just <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you need the you need the wolf that was wrestling with Willie and you make him go back into the bushes. <laughs> Keep your distance, boy. <sighs> okay. Um I want to unlock the next teleport stone, mm -hmm. and then, um, 
there's uh there's some other good sides 